Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life. And in this video, I'm going to show you some ways that you can use digital art in OneNote. This is the first video in a new YouTube playlist called OneNote Pretty Pages. I'll tell you more about that later in this video. Now, I myself am an avid OneNote fan and I use OneNote to keep just about everything in my life organized and moving ahead. I'm a YouTube creator, blogger at OneNoteWorthyLife.com, and I host the OneNote Bullet Journal Facebook group. So what do we mean by digital art? Well, for this video, I'm talking about an image usually in PNG or JPEG format. Examples of this include clip art, photos, icons, or digital stickers. Um, there's a lot of different places you can get this type of digital art. Uh, you can make your own using a program such as canva.com. That's a website with, uh, it's a design website, and there's a ton of free stuff on there. They do have paid elements, but you can use a lot of the stuff for free. Uh, you could use something like PowerPoint, and you can even use uh, Microsoft Word has things like clip art and icons that you can use. You can also download digital art, either free or paid items, and you can just Google for sources on that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to put an, a digital image into OneNote. I am recording in OneNote for Windows 10, so your menus may look a little bit different, but you should have this insert option somewhere on your uh, screen. So I'm going to click on Insert Pictures from File, and I'm going to go ahead and insert this uh, Summer Festival piece of art that I made. I made this on Canva.com using free elements. Now, because my cursor was near the top of my screen and kind of in this upper left corner, um, OneNote inserted this image into a text container. That's this uh, box that's surrounding my image. And just to make the image a little bit more precise and easy to use, I'm going to remove it from that text box. So to do that, I right-click it and click Cut. And then I come over somewhere here on the right. I'm going to paste it. Now you can see the image doesn't have an, a text box attached to it anymore. So since the image is not where I want it, I'm going to show you how to drag it to where we want it. So I'm just going to hold down my mouse button and drag it over. And you can see that the dragging is kind of jerky. And I'm going to scroll all the way to my right here, or left, I'm sorry. So for um, smoother dragging and a more precise placement, you can hold your Alt key down. And now you can see it drags very smoothly. And I can put it exactly where I want it. Um, now that it's in OneNote, you can, um, I'm going to right click it and you can see that if I click this picture menu, we have some different options. I could rotate it 90 degrees to the right, 90 degrees to the left, flip it vertically or horizontally. And then I can also set the picture as background. Um, when you set the picture as background, it will kind of anchor it in place so that anything else you add on the page will not move it or, um, you know, make it um, or change anything about it. And just so you understand what I mean, I'm going to go ahead and type on this page without setting this yellow image as background. So I'm typing some text, typing some text. Now you can see each line of text I type, it moves my image down, which I don't like. So I'm going to undo this. Um, now I'm going to select picture and set as background. Now I can go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and just repeat that same thing where I'm typing text and it just goes right on top of it. So when it's set as background, you can type on top of the image without impacting it. And if you have a stylus enabled device, you can actually uh, do this and then you could write on the image as well using your stylist, stylus. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these two text boxes because I don't want them. Um, and then the other thing you could do is you could actually make this bigger or smaller. So let me just demo that real quick. I'm going to un undo the picture as, uh, set as so it's no longer set as background. So I'm going to make it really tiny. Um, if I wanted to do that, I could, but I'm going to undo that because I like it nice and big. And I'm going to reset the picture as background because we're going to move to the second part of the demo, which is adding a photo to this. So for this demo, I'm going to add a photo that's on my computer, but it is very easy to add a phone, a, a photo to OneNote from your phone. On my Android phone, I just hold my finger on the screen uh, until I get a um, insert menu. That would be, uh, I hold my finger on the screen on the OneNote page that I want the photo on, 
and then an insert menu pops up and I pick the photo and it appears on my page. In this case though, I'm going to insert a picture from my computer. So my cursor is over here on the right and I'm going to click insert oops, pictures from file. And this is a picture of my dog Danny with his big tongue hanging out. Um, and I have a lot of the same options. I could move this around, I could resize it and stuff, but what I'm, so I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to drag it. I'm going to hold down my alt key so I get a nice precise drag. I'm going to drag it so it kind of overlaps the um, summer festival artwork. So we're making kind of like a scrapbooky type layout here. So now we have um, two digital elements. We have a, you know, a graphic image and a photo on the same page. And um, I have the photo on top, but if I wanted to uh, have the graphic image, the yellow image on top, I could, um, once I have to, I have to not set this as background now. And with this order button, I can bring this yellow image forward. And now that's on top. Um, I definitely like the picture on top more though, so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go ahead and again set this picture as background. Um, so the next thing I want to add um, is I'm going to draw a frame around this picture and this is something I like to do sometimes when I add a graphic element to a page just because it kind of makes it stand out a little more. So I'm going to select this pink pen and I'm going to pick this square shape. This saves you from having to try to freehand draw a square. Um, it's going to automatically give me a nice square. So what I do is I just try and get it somewhere in the general right vicinity. Um, and then I'm going to customize that frame and get it nice and tight on the photo in, in this next step. So I'm going to hit, hit escape so I'm no longer in the draw menu. And I'm going to use this corner um, handle here. Hold down the alt key so I get a nice precise fit. And one more. So you can just wiggle that around a little bit so you get the nice precise fit. And I feel like that just kind of looks, you know, a little bit artistic and kind of scrapbooky and crafty. So the one final thing, um, this looks good. You could leave it as is. Um, the one final thing I do want to add though, is I'm going to add a page color. And in OneNote for um, Windows 10, you have these 16 very translucent page colors, but I'm going to go to this more colors option. And one of the things I love about this is whatever color you pick, you get a lot of choices on that. Some of them are very dark and some of them are very light, and then you get more or less saturation. So I'm going to pick, I think this one here. And there we have it, a nice uh, full scrapbook page. And, you know, then you could type in, like if this was a memory page, you could type in some things that happened that day or something like that. So there you go. Uh, this is our demo for uh, OneNote Pretty Pages. Now, I wanted to do this video because it's one of the most requested type of video I get in the OneNote Bullet Journal Facebook group and on my YouTube channel. There are so many beautiful pages of digital journals out there, and people who use OneNote are not left out of this. You can definitely make beautiful pages in OneNote, just like you can with other software programs. I think sometimes people are a little reluctant to get started with OneNote because they don't realize they can make these beautiful pages, but you definitely can if that's something you want. Now, most of my pages are pretty simple, and OneNote does function really well with simple pages, but just so you know, like if you want to have some creativity and some fun, you can use some of these things to make pretty pages. And that brings me to the hashtag at the top of your screen, which is OneNote Pretty Pages. So if you use anything you learned in this video or any later videos in this playlist, I would love it if you posted it with the hashtag OneNote Pretty Pages. Um, I want to be able to see your work and I want to be inspired by you. And I also want other people to be able to find it so that when they want some inspiration for their own pretty pages, that they can see your work as well. So um, yeah, I hope to see anything that you post under that hashtag OneNote Pretty Pages. So there we go. That's how to add digital artwork to your OneNote pages. If you have any questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, 
uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments of this video and I will do my best to answer you. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button so I know you like this. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.